Hi guys, my name is Ntanta. I'm a photographer and we're here with Yom Zanti for MX Day. So my favorite MX sneaker is the MX1. And as you can see today, I brought my MX1 Royals. Yes. Yeah, this is a sneaker that I've loved here for the longest time. And when I got it, yeah, I felt felt very special to me because you know there's an OG colorway also you know and the material is, is quite dope on these because my first MX's um, they weren't like this as you can see I'm wearing them today and these like have the fly knit material but when, once I got these man yo I was super happy yeah <laughs> I'm really excited to see what Nike has um, in store for us this year because in the previous years they've had some crazy releases and you know even like I said when I first saw these shoes releasing in, in 2017 I was very amped for that MX day and now I just want to see what they have in store for us and MX day has been something that is very big on the internet but to also see it um, like growing in size and like the actual physical day like um, Nike having exhibitions and stuff is it's a very special thing to me so I'm really anticipating to see what Nike has in store for us and yeah that's why I yeah I'm, I'm really in love with MX Day. Hi my name is Oratile Mo known in the streets as Ora Mo I am a sneaker enthusiast streetwear fashion lover and yeah Actually, fun fact, I don't own my favorite pair of Air Max, but this is second best. Uh, my favorite, favorite pair is the Air Max 95 Atmos Animal Pack, but these are the Air Max 90 uh, 2020. They're special to me because I've always hated the Air Max 90 silhouette, and then the good people at Nike decided to gift me with two pairs. So since discovering the comforts, like how they look, etc., they've become like a, a, a new cult favorite of mine. Um, this year is the 30th anniversary of the MX90. So why would you not want to wear a special shoe on a special year? Um, I chose the classic Vault. And then this pair as well, which is the pink, because I've been looking for a, a pair of pink shoes for a while. So MX Day for me represents a lot of things. Like outside of the really cool um, events that Nike seems to have all over the world, I think it stands for a stronger message of like, innovation and being pioneering because everybody knows that Air Max was like a revolution in footwear. So every time an Air Max day comes around, like we remember the bubble, we remember Tinker Hatfield having designed it, we remember Marion Rudy having uh, created the air and the bubble. So for me, that's what it means. And then the embellishments or like all the cool shit is like the events that Nike has. Like I was really looking forward to Nike Air Max day 2020, because it's a celebration of my uh, new favorite but yeah that's what it means to me a strong message of innovation and being the first and pioneering everyone knows me as Carter Dooley uh, I'm a I collect sneakers because that's my passion my favorite uh, MX is actually this MX2 Atmos the reason why I love it is it has all different colors. I'm a person that loves color, even though I love only wearing black clothing. But uh, definitely this year, different swooshes and stuff, as you can see there as well. I bought the sneaker last year. I bought it on Nike.com. It wasn't very difficult to cop at all, so I'm glad I got it because it's something that I really like as well. Hi, my name is Darian and I am a fashion student and an overall sneaker enthusiast. This is the MX1 sketch to shelf. This is my favorite Air Max because it's, the MX1 is basically a sneaker that started my entire sneaker 
addiction. It was a sneaker that just defied all odds of what a shoe should be. Um, I bought the shoe not too long ago, I think it was a few months ago when they released and I just I couldn't pass it by with the anniversary colours and basically how Tinker Hatfield sketched every detail of why he did the shoe on the actual shoe itself. Hi, my name is Zoe Monta. I am a youth advocate, a model and so many other great things. I love sneakers, especially with formal wear. These are my favorite MXs. They are called the MX Plus, the tuned air, TNs. Um, I love the color. I love the history of the design and where it was designed. So when I was doing my personal history of the shoe, I found out that um, the person who designed it, Sean, Sean McDowell, was chilling on the beach and he was just looking around when he came up with this idea. Um, I love how comfortable it is inside. It's not the most comfortable shoe I have, but it's one of the most comfortable shoes I have. And I chose purple because purple is my favorite color. It's the color of magic, it's the color of um, royalty. My name is Riyad Isma, I'm a sneaker fanatic and designer. MX Day is really important to me uh, as it celebrates one of the greatest pioneers in the sneaker industry, Inca Hadfield. Uh, it's just a celebration about him for me personally and then also uh, celebrates MX which is more than one silhouette which caters to all walks of life. If you don't like one silhouette, you're more than likely to like one of the other many silhouettes, many colorways. Uh, my favorite memory of MX Day, although it didn't happen in SA, uh, in New York City in 2018, uh, Sean Wetherspoon's release of his 97, and they rode around in a minibus or taxi as we call it, uh, just handing out cards uh, as a way to get access to the sneaker. I think that was really cool. And yeah, I think I had feel sketch the shelf. Uh, really important pair to me because I think I had feel is one of my biggest role models and inspirations. This is his first real work for Nike as far as sneakers are concerned. Uh, it illustrates his actual sketch uh, and outlines what went into it. The big window, or the bubble, the pattern split, the color palette. Uh, I love the suede material on it. I love that uh, it's from the original sketch. So if you notice on a normal MX1, there's a panel missing right here. Uh, it has his signature at the back on the other, the other foot. Uh, it's just really sick, man. I'm Cabello, I'm Recure, uh, work at Shelf Life um, and also do some creative directing on the side. I have the MX Lite 2, uh, the Atmos collab to be specific. Uh, this came with the collection, came with the track suit, came with the cap, as you can see I'm rocking it, and a tee, which I don't have with me right now. It was going to be unnecessary. But anyway, uh, it wasn't hard getting the shoe actually, it was sitting on shelves. It dropped uh, early last year, but then people weren't really into it. So at Shelf Life it only arrived late, if I'm not mistaken, like maybe four months after the drop. And it also came with the collection, so it just sat on shelves. And I thought I should get it because I, I was looking on the web every day and looking at the shoe thinking that we we're gonna get it when it drops, but we didn't. And then when it came to us, it was just chilling and I still got it anyway, cause it was what I wanted. And I always get what I want. Air Max Day will always be Air Max Day to me. So I always have an Air Max in my collection. Not for that day, but just for what Air Max is to me. Not to all of us, but just to me. You always need to have an Air Max in your collection. That's just my point of view. And yeah, man, I just wish Nike would also jump on the events again just to bring it up. So it's 90, it's what? The MX90 is celebrating this year, but I don't know, man. Nobody seems amped about it. So yeah, that's just me.